tuning into our channel house mom me house mom denise for today we'll be talking about audition what you need to bring um, to the audition and just how auditions go at our club so ladies if you're ready to start stripping and becoming a dancer you might want to tune in so that you can know exactly what you need to take to the club so that you don't have any problems at all getting hired so ladies before you decide to start dancing you know that you have to audition. Most clubs, whenever you go audition, they're gonna require you to wear a certain amount of clothing. Some none, some you have to wear dresses, some you have to wear two pieces, sometimes you wear nothing. If you have any questions, I suggest calling the club um, regarding their process of audition, uh, what the age limit is, and what proper IDs that you may need, and also, um, what kind of attire that you need and other paperwork that you may also need. Okay, ladies, so this is ready. Let's talk about what you're gonna need when you go audition. And if you're a traveler, this is perfect because the first thing that you're gonna want to do is make sure that you have a little bag handy. A small little bag. It doesn't have to be an extreme book bag. It can be a small bag. If you're planning to audition to many clubs or even traveling outside the state to audition in other clubs. So a bag would be the first thing that you would be needing immediately. Uh, shoes, um, if you've danced before, I uh, would like you to have shoes ready. If not, just any high heels is available. Um, we might have shoes available at our club for you to borrow, but most likely I just wouldn't um, rely on that. And also just for safety and healthy reasons, I would use your own shoes. Yes, ladies. And also if you cannot or do not have any high heels at home, you can always go to one of the websites on Amazon or go to pleaseyourshoes.com and they'll be able to send, you know, you can buy some shoes and they'll send it to you within the week. Make sure that when you decide to do or order any stripper entertainer shoes that they look similar to this. They're usually like six inches tall and shoes like this, stripper heels come five inches, six inches, seven inches, eight inches, even nine inches. But if you're starting off, you want to be comfortable, you want to be able to start getting used to the heel, the stripper heel, so you're gonna get something about six inches because that'll make your legs look even better when you're wearing a dress and auditioning. Next is underwear. Some clubs may not require to wear, um, some do. I would have like a few. Um, matching your dress is nice. Um, we have some like this. Sometimes house moms have uh, thongs for sale or other underwear. Um, also garters, which most likely you won't need garters um, till you start working at the club. This is the front and then that's the back. And ladies, there's so many styles to the thongs. There's thongs that have a single string and then you have the double string. Just try to make sure that when you do go audition, see like those in the front, they have like little back tee. It's really important that you cover up. Most clubs want you to cover up as much as you can, at least for the audition. Once you get hired, you'll learn on what everybody else wears or you'll see, and then you can kind of like start going on from there. And for dresses or uh, outfits, um, I would also suggest asking what the club requires for their entertainers or strippers to wear. Our club um, requires our entertainers to wear dresses. Um, some clubs require you to either wear like one piece, two pieces, like Denise said. Uh, our club would suggest our entertainers to wear dresses, either a short dress or a long dress. Uh, I would suggest wearing a short dress just because it's easier to take on and off during the audition. So something like this. Because it stretches to the body and it's easy on and off. The easier you make the audition, I want to say the better it is for the managers to see that. And it's just, it looks smoother. Um, when you can take the dress off easily because usually some girls have problem taking the dress off so it looks a little bit awkward and sometimes ladies um, in some other clubs you don't need an actual dress our club requires that but um, but if you want to go ahead and have everything in your book bag ready just make sure you always have two pieces your thongs 
and a dress. Maybe a couple dresses that are spandex so that you don't have any problem when you're there. Even one pieces. Some dresses, some places, you can use a one piece. And they can come in all different types of colors. This is a one piece. So when you do wear one piece, you might be required to wear underwear underneath also. Mm -hmm. And these are the little basic things that you wanna have in your bag when you do decide to audition. So that when you get there, you're not empty handed and you have no clue of what's going on. At least this video will give you a little idea on how to do that. You have to make sure also that you have your little own makeup bag with your own makeup because not every club has a makeup artist, not every club shares makeup. So that's something you might wanna have also in your little bag when you do go audition in your state club or you're traveling to another club. And just remember when you're auditioning uh, to be a stripper or entertainer that you're playing a, like a fantasy role. So however you want men or women or people to perceive you, like maybe that's how you should, you know, come to the audition. When you, uh, just like going in an interview, you can want to look your best. So it's maybe best that you have your hair and your makeup done coming from home. So that when you're coming to the audition, you're already ready. You can put on your outfits with everything that we said that you can bring inside your little bag. And they'll ask you to sign the paperwork for application. And they'll put the audition on, on the stage and you can get hired. When you're calling and asking about the, uh, about the club and the audition, I would ask about what times they hold the audition and when is the latest that you can come in an audition. And that's true. You have to remember though that the later you come in, you might not be able to work that same night. Just because um, you have to go through orientation, paperwork, and then like a club tour. So by the time that finishes up, it, it's like an hour. And it's maybe, you know, past midnight and you won't be able to work that night. That means you have to start on the next day, which takes away the potential of you making money that day that you do audition. So the earlier, the better. The early bird gets the worm. <laughs> now that you know everything that you should bring to the audition, it should be really easy for you to make the phone call, find out the club you want to work at, if it's in the state or out of the state, and all we can do is wish you luck in your audition and to get hired. Let's get ready to make some money. Well, I hope you liked this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button. If it's in the state 